Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we're gonna solve this equation right there. So let's begin. Now we can see that we have two different bases. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna change the base for any of the two logarithms that we have up here. Now I'm gonna choose this one right there. So we know that log base three of x is the same as log x over log three. And now since we have a base of four for the other logarithm, that's the number I am going to choose for the base of these two logarithms. Now we can replace this value into the original equation. So we're gonna have um, log base four of x over log base four of three plus log base four of x is equal to two. This is the equation that we have. Now we can uh, multiply these denominator in the top and in the bottom of this number. So we're gonna have, I'm gonna continue up here, we have log base four of x uh, over, and I'm actually gonna just say, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say log base four of three times log base four of x is equal to, now we know we moved these two, I mean, we have these log for three as a denominator, but we're gonna move it to the other side of the equation. So we have two times log base four of three, okay? This is how much we get for the next equation. Now what we're gonna do is, you can see that we have a common factor of log base four of x. So we can take that out and we can keep playing. So we can say log base four of x times log base four of three uh, plus one. And this is equal to two times log base four of three. Now we can, uh, we can now simplify the parentheses to the following, log base four of x times log base four three plus log base four of four, okay? Now the good thing on this side is that since we have the same basis for the two logarithms, we can simplify this as a multiplication. So this is just simply a rule for logarithms. So we have log base four of x times, we use the rule, so we have log base four of three times four, and this is equal to two times log base four of three, okay? Now we know this is gonna be 12, so we continue log base four x times log base four of 12. This is equal to two times log base four of three. Now we've gotten to this point. The only thing that we wanna do now is, well, you can notice that x is basically alone. We can divide the equation by this number right there, and now we can transform the equation that we have to exponential form. So this is how it will look like. Uh, we would get log base four of x is equal to two times uh, log base four of three over log base four of 12. And now we can actually simplify this to uh, two times log, uh, this should be log base 12 of three, okay? And now we can just simply move this, uh, this and this to exponential form. So I'm gonna write up here that our answer is gonna be the following. Now we know base four, we have four as a base and now the value for this logarithm is gonna be the exponent that four has, which is this one. So this is gonna be two times log base two of three, and this is equal to x, okay? This is the value of x, and now you can simplify this. Uh, you have 16, because, oh, let me write that again. Uh, you have, you're multiplying, you have four times, four, uh, four squared times log base two of three, so you have 16 to the uh, log base two of three, and this is equal to x, okay? And this is the result for this equation right there. 